restoration team assemble. And there's plenty of assembly required. This place is hopping, and this is the place that people don't normally see. What's happening inside a hangar at the New England Air Museum comes down to the nuts and bolts, the rivets, and the widgets. Here's where we restore the aircraft that you see in the museum. So this is a hidden treasure within a hidden treasure. These are major props in Windsor Locks and jets. Here, Tuesdays and Thursdays are dedicated to aircraft preservation and restoration. Our volunteers, our restoration volunteers, they take aircraft that looks like it came from a junkyard someplace, and they turn it into aircraft that looks like it came right off a production line. On their radar now, it was flown by the Navy in the 60s and 70s. The newest project. And it would defend the fleet. Volunteers are giving their A-game to the E-1B a.k.a. the Tracer, a model that Navy vet Dave Amidon flew when he was a flight deck officer. There are three airplanes. There was the Tracker, the Tracer, and the Trader. The Tracer was the, the radar warning, early warning plane. They had a range with a radar of about 200 miles. And they'll tell you these projects are like putting a 500-piece jigsaw puzzle back together, except they don't always have all the pieces. They actually fabricate pieces that are missing. They do the research and then they fabricate out of other materials. In the restoration hangar, sparks continue to fly. What stays grounded? They say it's living history. This is all done because they love what they're doing. They love the people they're working with and they love presenting history that the next generation can see. In Windsor Locks, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.